Dr. Ivan Threddy, who took oath as Telangana CM yesterday, has already got down to work almost immediately after his swearing-in ceremony. He has approved the six guarantees the Congress made in the run-up to the elections. He signed two files on his first day in office, while one pertained to the pre-poll guarantees. The other one was regarding employment for a differently abled woman, TK Rajni, to whom he had promised a job while campaigning in Achampet in Nagar, Kurnool district. Rajni will be allotted a job at a district collector's office of her choosing. Even before his ceremony began yesterday, the fence outside Prakriti Bhavan was removed. This too was a promise that Revanth had made during his campaigning, saying people's government will prevail in the state if the Congress is voted to power. Madhu Sharma is uh, joining us uh, live. Uh, Madhu, uh, well, uh, the Chief Minister, the new Chief Minister of Telangana, getting to work on his first day. Give us more details about the first decisions that Revant Reddy took after taking charge. Well, in fact, uh, in his first act as a Chief Minister, Revant Reddy signed two files. One to create the legal framework for the implementation of all the six guarantees promised by the Telangana Congress, by the Congress during the Assembly poll campaign. And second, to give the first government job under the Congress regime to resume a physically challenged post-graduate from Mampoli constituency. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi during his election campaign in, uh, in, in Telangana recently promised that the six guarantees will be made into a law if the party voter, uh, you know, if the party is voted to power and if a legal framework is established, the implementation of six guarantees will be binding on the state government is what Rahul Gandhi said. And uh, earlier if we see, uh, you know, uh, <coughs> earlier if we see fulfilling his promise, Raymond Reddy extended an invitation to Rajni to attend the swearing in ceremony. She was invited to the dais after taking oath uh, after the oath, after the oath taking ceremony, where the chief secretary Shanti Kumari uh, was ready with an appointment letter, they were ready handed over the letter to Rajni on the dais amid the huge. Uh, applause from the crowd. And there were other schemes which were, you know, signed by Raven Trendy, which were Mahalakshmi, which gives 2,500 every month, and gas cylinders work for 500, free travel clinicals for the women, and the right to browse which gives 15,000 per acre for the farmers, and tenant farmers uh, every year, and 12,000 per acre uh, for agriculture labor, and gain also 500 rupees for, uh, you know, paddy crops. And Gruha Jyoti, under the scheme, Congress promised to give 200 units of free electricity to every household, and in the Rama Illu, uh, 250 square yards, plots for all Telangana women fighters, house fight and fight like for the people, of, uh, fight like for the people, not having their own house. And you are in the Hassam, uh, Vidya Bharosa card, worth rupees 5 lakh for the students, setting up in Telangana International Schools in every mandal. And the Cheyuta gives 4,000 uh, 4, a month pension for senior citizens and 10 lakh under the Rajiv Arogya insurance. And uh, the election for 1970 Telangana were held on November 30, which uh, you know, Telangana people have declared, uh, I mean, have decided to give a change, and Congress party came into uh, power. And Raven Trevi yesterday took uh, oath as a chief minister, and Batavikramarka was a deputy chief, was his deputy, and there were other, uh, cabinet, uh, other uh, MLAs who took, uh, who took oath as the cabinet. All right, uh, Madhu, thank you for joining us with those details. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.